Easy. Yo, what is up guys and welcome back to a brand new video. My name is Hostility and today I'm back with another gaming PC build video and I know I've been kind of spamming you guys with a lot of these lately but you seem to be enjoying them and uh, I've been getting a lot of good feedback, a lot of constructive criticism and stuff so uh, yeah I'm just going to continue on doing these gaming PC builds at least uh, every twice a week if not once a week but anyways we have the $400 gaming PC build if you couldn't tell by the title and this build is pretty much your baseline you're the cheapest that I would honestly go on a gaming PC because honestly if you go below this uh, you're sacrificing a lot of performance and a lot of quality so for this build you get pretty decent quality components and you do have the ability to play every game or most games most titles out there um, can't really guarantee the upcoming ones at high 1080p uh, this build is actually very capable um, although, you know, it isn't the best. It is good for those who ha don't really have that much money but want to get into PC gaming. This actually costs uh, around the same price as a console, except you don't come with a monitor. But anyways, that's besides the point. Gameplay you're watching in the background is some The, Div the Division, uh, just some random ass gameplay that I recorded. I've tried to record gameplay a lot, uh, but I my computer's just been crashing. But anyways, this is all the gameplay I have. Um, I, I Hopefully it doesn't really... Uh, bother you guys that much but anyways let's get straight into this build i've rambled on for way too much and kicking it off with the cpu i've gone with the amd fx 4300 3.8 gigahertz quad core processor now amd is probably the best for uh just lower uh budget processors actually best bang for the buck it is quad core it is 3.8 gigahertz and that sounds really good uh for gaming you don't really need a super super beastly cpu but either way this thing gets the job done. It comes at a very good price, very capable CPU, and can even do uh, some tasks like rendering and stuff. Um, obviously not as good as in like an i7, obviously, because you know, it has doesn't have hyper-threading, but uh, still a very very capable CPU, and it comes with a CPU cooler and everything, and that's everything there that needs, uh, that can power your build. Going onto the motherboard, I've gone with the MSI 760 GMA P34 FX Micro ATX AM3 Plus motherboard, and goddamn that name is really awkward to say, but uh, the motherboard, this is bare bones basic, like everything, just everything that you need, I'm pretty sure it comes with USB 3, so you have that, uh, it comes with just, this is bare bones basic, uh, it is MSI, so it is a reputable brand in my opinion, uh, so you will have a really good time with if you have to RMA or if you have to return the board or whatever uh, it does have just the bare bone features you're not getting anything fancy here N just the bare bones motherboard it gets the job done that's pretty much what this build is about just getting the job done uh, now going on to the memory I've chosen the crucial ballistic sport 8 gigabytes DDR3 1600 and uh, obviously just bare bones RAM, nothing too special about this, has a nice heat spreader so it doesn't look completely awful. 8GB of RAM from Crucial, a uh, very reputable brand in my opinion. Also, 8GB uh, is plenty if you're just gaming, um, just pretty much the baseline for any PC nowadays is 8GB of RAM. Uh, and it does come in clocked at 1600 megahertz, which is obviously, uh, again, basic frequency. So this build is nothing fancy, it just... It is good for getting the job done, playing your games without a fuss. Uh, now going into the storage, I've chosen the Seagate Barracuda 1TB 3.5 inch 7200 RPM hard drive. And uh, obviously, uh, again, another basic part, 1TB of space, which is quite a lot. I don't think you're going to fill up the whole thing. Plenty of room for all your games, your OS programs, movie, music, uh, whatever you want to store on your hard drives. I don't judge anyone on what they store on their hard drives. That is totally up to you. And it, do, it isn't a, a super slow drive as well, like obviously if you get an SSD, uh, everything will be a lot faster, but this will again get the job done. Now going on to the video card, probably the best part in this build, like the most significant part, obviously because it is a gaming build, you need a good card. I've gone with the Asus GeForce GTX 950 2GB video card. And this is a small form factor, so it's a little like micro uh, micro ATX uh, form factor. It's a little bit smaller. It's only got one fan, but the 950s honestly are the king of just baseline 1080p gaming. Uh, they they do an absolutely great job of uh, processing all the textures and stuff for your 1080p gaming. Uh, so you'll be run be able to run like very basic games like LOL, CS:GO. And you know all those games that don't require a lot of horsepower in your PC, you'll be run be able to run them just fine, uh, and achieve well over 60 FPS. Uh, also, you can play newer titles as well. Uh, maybe you'd have to lower the settings down to high or maybe medium, but you'll still be able to play them. 
and uh, that's what's good about the nine the nine fifty is that uh, this is a very capable card and it's pretty underrated actually. Uh, you could opt for something AMD, but the nine fifty is just better power consumption and in my opinion overall better value. Uh, so yeah, that's why I went with that. Uh, now going on to the case, I've chose the NZ, I've chosen the NZXT Source two ten ATX Metal case, and uh, again. Another basic part, either it's not very basic, but it, it is an NZXT case, so you're getting good construction. Uh, I, I don't know, I'm caught I'm kind of on the fence about the looks, but this is the cheapest case that I could fit into this budget while being reputable and being uh, of nicer quality. And the game just lagged out there for a second, I don't know what happened. Uh, but yeah, uh, this will be able to fit all your components just fine, especially with that small card that you have there. Uh, NZXT makes very good cases, and uh, their budget cases are no slouch. Like, uh, you'll be able to just get by fine with this case. Like, it's not like you're going to display this case and have a window with all your parts in it. Um, with this budget PC, you're probably going to have it on the ground and stuff, and just play your games. Uh, so yeah, nothing too fancy here, and going into the power supply, the last component of the build, the EVGA 430W 80 plus certified ATX power supply, and again, obviously nothing super super fancy, 430 watts is plenty of uh, wattage for your system, especially um, since we have that uh, 950 and the AMD card that sucks a lot of power. Uh, you probably won't be going over 300 watts with this system, so you're just fine. It has 80 plus certified, just 80 plus, not even 80 plus bronze. Uh, but it's good to have that certification there, so you know that it is going to be running a lot more efficient than uh, the power supplies without the 80 plus rating. And, uh, you know, it is just your basic power supply, which will get the job done. And uh, it isn't like a terrible unit, it is made of uh, pretty decent components, like... Uh, that you know it's made it is a tier 3 power supply uh, but it will you know uh, it won't blow up like uh, it won't blow up like a tier 4 or something like that uh, so yeah you're just fine there now the total of the build comes to four hundred and three dollars and fifty three cents and to me that is really really good value like four hundred dollars to do 1080p gaming is very very good uh, so yeah if you're looking for a really budget PC if you don't have that much money to spend this is the way to go. Trust me, uh, you will have no problems with this build. It'll last you about two years, or maybe even more than that. And uh, yeah, it'll be just fine for what uh, your basic gaming needs. So thank you so much for watching this build. If you did enjoy, please be sure to smack that like button. Also comment below what uh, other gaming PCs or what other budgets you would want to see. What countries? Uh, if you want to see a full set, I don't know, just any any suggestions you have, any feedback, any uh, criticism, uh, I would love to hear your thoughts in the comments below. Also, if you want to see more budget builds, please let me know as well, because I've been doing more high-end builds a lot lately, so yeah, uh, I probably need to focus more on the budget end to cater to everybody. Uh, but yeah, that is pretty much it for the video, guys. Uh, links in the description below for my Twitch and my Twitter. So for, give me a follow on those. Uh, I'm pretty active on Twitter. And also, I'm going to be streaming today. So if you are catching this video the day it is released, I will be streaming later on. So you can catch that Twitter, uh, Twitch link in the description below to catch me, uh, catch my stream. Uh, but other than that, like I said, thank you so much for watching this video. Really appreciate it. Hopefully you guys did enjoy the build. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out, everybody.